Welcome brewers and lab nerds. Today I'm going to show you how to properly rehydrate yeast prior to pitching it. The um, two main different procedures of doing this is just rehydrating it in water and then pitching it into your beer. The other one is that you use some form of a, of a yeast energizer and, nutri and nutrients such as GoFirm and that's the one I'm going to go over. So first way of doing it if you just use water is you take the amount of yeast you need you multiply it by 10 and that's how many grams of water you're going to need so for example i have 18 grams of uh, yeast therefore i would have 180 grams of water however today we're going to use go firm and the uh, procedure then is you take the amount of grams you have which is 18 and you multiply it by 1.25 and that's how much um, GoFirm you're going to have. So I have 22.5 grams of GoFirm. And to figure out how much water you're going to use to rehydrate it in, you multiply the amount of GoFirm by 20. So that comes out to 450 grams of water. And that's what I've already pre-measured in here. Then what I did was I, take, I took water first and boiled it for about 10-15 minutes to get rid of any oxygen that was in it but mostly just to kill off any bacteria uh, and then let it like, let it cool down to 40 degrees and that's what it's sitting at right now 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit first thing we're going to do then is to go ahead and add the go firm to the water and then we're gonna mix it together This whisk has already been sanitized, so we are safe here. You want to use uh, tap water and not filtered or distilled water if possible, just because uh, it has some minerals in it that help the yeast in a uh, case that is they do better if they uh, actually have the regular tap water versus distilled water. Okay, that is pretty much fully dissolved now. Normally I don't weigh out the yeast like this, I just take it straight from the packet and I, um, both, if, if it's a new packet, I will spray the scissors with a sterilizer or a sanitizer and then I will uh, spray the um, container before I cut it and then pour it straight onto, uh, into where we're going to hydrate it and measuring it right on the scale. But just to make it easier today, I pre-measure it out ahead of time. So here we got 18 grams and we're done with the whisk now. We're just going to sprinkle this on top of the surface and then leave it for 15 minutes before we come back and give it a stir. So I'll see you 15 minutes from now or a second for you. Okay, we're now back and it's been over 15 minutes. The uh, yeast has now had some time to hydrate, but what we're going to do now is to gently stir it up so that uh, it's all fully suspended. So I just sprayed the whisk with sanitizer again. And then gently stir it to get it all suspended. Don't want to necessarily breathe into this. To avoid uh, adding any lactobacillus to it. So anyway, we'll be back in five minutes. We're gonna let it rest five more minutes. We are down to the last few steps here now. So we've let it hydrate for at least another five minutes. Next thing we're gonna do now is to bring the temperature of this wort or must, depending on what you're making, down to the same temperature. Uh, as the must that you are adding it into or wort that you're adding it into and we're going to do that by taking a sample of the uh, uh, wort or must that it's going into and slowly adding it in and bringing it down in 10 degrees celsius increments in it within five minutes so we'll start by first checking what temperature it currently is at So I'm showing that it's currently at 35 degrees Celsius. 
So I'm gonna add, let's spray that one more time. I'm gonna add must and stir it up. And we can bring it down now from 35 to 25 by adding that must. Add a little more. So this could take a little while if you're making a lager because you got to bring it down quite far. Uh, in my case, I'm actually making a mead and it's going to be fermenting at 20. And uh, so this should only really take one step here and then I'll go ahead and add it to the mead itself. So we're now down at 25 degrees Celsius and we're going to leave it there for five minutes and then if it's actually, if it's within, uh, I think it's seven or eight degrees, then it's okay to go ahead and pitch it into your wort. It's an, instead of doing another 10 degrees step down. So since it's at 25 now, I'm going to just leave it for five minutes and then go ahead and pitch it into the uh, mustard that I have sitting for it. And that's really it. So just follow those procedures. It takes a little while, but the vitality and the viability of your yeast will be way up and you'll have a much healthier fermentation. That's it, cheers.